Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel, and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to find and hopefully use to the best of its abilities, the unique 44 Magnum known as Kellogg's Pistol. Now this gun is acquired during the main quest, so if you don't want any of that spoilt, don't watch. So to acquire this you will need to be on the quest Reunions, and as stated this is part of the main storyline, and the quest is received after completing the mission Getting a Clue. And just a quick warning, during this quest you will encounter a huge amount of enemy synths, so when you are on this quest be sure to come well prepared for a fight with them. But eventually we will have to talk to Kellogg. He's encountered pretty much at the end of the mission. And when you do encounter him, it's not exactly a friendly old chat. But eventually after reuniting, the chat will end. And eventually, this will happen. Once the mighty Kellogg has been slain, on his body we will find Kellogg's pistol, the unique 44 Magnum we came here for. So be sure to pick it up. As always, before modding it out and looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bubblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. So first off, in the first modification slot, I'm going to be going with the advanced receiver. This increases damage by 75%, increases fire rate by 25%, and reduces is reload time by 25%. So all around that modification is being received very well. Secondly, we're going with the bull barrel. Yes, it is true. It's not bull at all. We are going with the bull barrel. This adds plus five times minimum range, plus nine times maximum range, reduces sight spread by 10%, reduces minimum spread by 25%, reduces recoil by 10%, reduces VATS cost by 15%, and reduces sight time by 3%. Not beating around the bush at all. Just like some other bull I know, it's giving this gun wings. Thirdly, I don't know if that's a word, but we're going to use it. In the third slot, we're going to go with the Comfort Grip. This reduces spread by 5%, reduces recoil by 5%, reduces VATS cost by 10%, and increases bash damage by 15%. And while we're at it, fourthly, in the fourth slot, we're going to be going with the Short Scope. If you want to do a lot of downside shooting, I would suggest going with the Reflex Sight. I want to make every shot count, so I'm going to go with the Short Scope. And if you give zero shit about aesthetics, I would suggest going with the Recon Scope. Anyway, the Short Scope adds full time zoom, increases sight sweep, by 20%, reduces sight spread by 20%, increases VATS cost by 30%, and increases sight time by 10%. And remember, as always, you can mod yours out however you like. But after modding Kellogg's pistol out the way I just did, it has a base ballistic damage of 84, it uses the 44 rounds as ammunition, it has a fire rate of 7, its range is 119, its accuracy is 82, its weight is 6.8 pounds, and its value is 534 caps. And up the top we can see Kellogg's pistol, critical damage damage refills action points. So as we know, Kellogg's pistol is a unique 44 pistol or a 44 magnum, and it has the legendary prefix of Relentless, which upon a critical strike refills the action points, a perfect weapon for a crit slash vats build. Now there is a little secret with the Relentless legendary prefix, if you use it with the chem overdrive, you will have an unlimited amount of action points. You will never run out of action points as long as the chem is lasting on your character. But if you don't want to turn your character into a chemical cesspool, purely based Based on its legendary effect, this gun's definitely best used with a VATS slash crit build. Do a crit, refill the action points, use those action points to get more VATS hits, fill the crit meter, do another crit, and repeat the cycle. Happy, happy days. Outside of VATS, mm, it's okay. After getting all the appropriate perks, I got the damage up to 241. The biggest downside is that it has an ammunition capacity of 6, which isn't too great, and it also fires quite slowly. Luckily, inside VATS, you don't notice that. But that's where it is let down outside of vats and because of those downsides that's why I put the scope on it so that outside of vats I can use the scope to make sure that these very slow but powerful bullets hit the enemies each and every time. So not the worst gun, not the best gun, but it's a pretty damn decent pistol if you're running a crit slash vats build. And as you probably could have guessed, this is Kellogg's signature weapon. The very one which he used to kill countless opponents over the course of his extended life, including the soul survivor's spouse right at the start of the game before stealing Sean. It is likely this is the pistol given to Kellogg by his mother while exploring Kellogg's memories. And just a note, on old versions of the game when using a vibration enabled controller, drawing the weapon will sometimes cause the controller to vibrate briefly. The effect remains if the weapon is renamed. So in that buggy sense it is truly unique. It is also the price that Kellogg paid for urine. After all, it is Kellogg's piss toll. And if you think this weapon's good, you wait until you try it with milk. It sure made Kellogg a serial killer. And here it is, Kellogg's pistol in action.
there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my walkthrough guide for the unique 44 Magnum known as Kellogg's Pistol. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way and if it did, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my full and full guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new full and full guides as I upload them. If you like cornflakes, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, the link will also be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.